Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. It's been such a long time and I have to thank every one of you guys so much because we surpassed the 1k subs. It's been a big dream of me and we finally reached it. So I want to thank every one of you so, so much. Well, today we're going to make a really, really nice artwork of Romelu Lukaku. We're going to combine a lot of techniques in this one. So pay attention and you will learn something new today. If you like this content and if you want to see more of these tutorials, be sure to hit that like button button hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to stay notified about future content so we're just going to start off with making our new document these are the settings i use all the time and let's get into it all right so as always we're just going to start off with loading our picture that we're going to use as a main subject we're going to place it like i want it to appear in the end at first i want to make a little shadow underneath him to make him really stick to the ground we're going to use a solid color for that and we are going to turn that turn around the mask with command or control i and we're just going to paint with the paintbrush that you can find right here because i saw that a lot of you guys ask me what tools i'm going to use so i will explain it a little bit more in depth so right now we're going to make a nice shadow the main shadow from underneath it from underneath him let's select around 75 percent be sure the foreground color is set to white and let's right now paint his shadow let's let's put a color fill underneath him his foot otherwise it's not a shadow of course so this is pretty good as a main shadow let's do another one right here right now we're going to make it a little bit bigger and we're going to put the flow to around 20 percent and let's right now make a new one right here and right here so we're going to make it a lot bigger right now and let's put the flow to around 10 percent and let's do it like this so this way you really get the feeling that he's stuck to the ground so right now we have to make a shadow on his foot of course because right now it's it yeah it really sucks let's just be honest so we're going to use an exposure layer for that we're going to bump down the exposure to almost near black and let's turn it around let's clip it to the layer below with holding the old button and let's right now paint a little bit back with also the paint with also the brush tool of course you don't have to use this stupid brush these are by the way the general brushes that are in photoshop you don't have to download any specific brush for this i use a flow of around 10 but of course you can bump it up to 30 if you want to speed up your process you just see right now right here it's not really perfect so we're going to adjust that with selecting the previous brush and let's making a now let's make a little shadow right there as well. At this foot, it's exactly the same. What? What the fuck? And let's right now continue with making his shadow. You don't have to make it like this black, because yeah, that's not just that's really just not realistic. Let's just be honest. To make it a little bit bigger. Let's bend down the expo the flow to around five percent. And let's make a kind of overall shadow. And let's right now do the same steps for this foot. So first we want the hard shadow of like around 30% around the edge of his foot. Secondly, a more overall shadow of like around 10%. And thirdly, a really, really big shadow of, all right, of around 5%. And this already looks like he's standing onto the ground. All right, so right now let's make a new exposure layer and we're going to bump it up this time. Let's clip it to the layer down below. Let's turn it around and right now we're going to make him glow and we're going to use exactly the same steps as we did before. We're just going to paint it with the white tool with the white brush and let's just paint around him. It does not have to be precise. If it just looks good for you, that's enough to be honest. We're going to adjust this later so you don't have to pay too much attention to this but this is just to give an overall look and feel. We're going to make a little bit of we're going to select the previous black exposure layer and we're just going to paint a little bit in his stomach because the light is coming from behind of him and on his pants as well and on his leg so right now you really see the difference from before and after i'm going to do the same for around here that's a little bit too much because you don't want it to be really black we just want it to have a very very nice subtle shadow and right now you see the before and after of the exposure layers. So right now we're going to make a very, very, very nice background. I think so. Anyway, so we're going to group our subject layer and we're just going to call this subject. So right now I am going to... Let's... So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint some lines with black. So just select the brush tool and be sure to 
to put your hardness to around 100% and let oh that's not supposed to happen of course first of all put the float of 100% and right now hold the shift button and you can draw a straight line this is not perfect so we have to put the spacing to 1% and let's right now draw some lines right now we're going to make it a lot smaller and we're going to paint some more lines you're going to see what we're going to do with this in just a second. If you think this already looks cool, yeah it does, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It actually already does look kind of cool. So you see it's not really that difficult to paint a very very nice background. So this is the first layer of the background that we're going to use. Let's turn, let's turn back our visibility of our subject. And right now we're just going to put a gradient map on it. Let's change the blacks to around to like a bluish color. Yeah, something like this looks nice. And let's turn the white to a little bit more grayish. Yeah, I like it. I like this. Let's bring back our subject right now. Right now we're going to add a little light source coming from behind of him. We're going to use a white color fill for that. And let's right now turn around that layer. The mask of war, of course. Let's make it a lot bigger. And right now we're going to paint some light coming from behind of him and let's right now reduce the opacity due to around 30 percent no even less 10 percent yeah something like this works right now we're going to duplicate it because i do want a little bit more intensity on the light so let's delete the layer mask let's place another one back in right now it's really bright we're going to turn around this layer again and let's paint a little little light in the corner a little bit bigger than that let's use something to of around 1000 pixels so you get the intensity of this light we're going to reduce this even more to around five percent maybe seven yeah seven is the best right now we're going to add some shadows to the sides this does not have to be so intense so we're just going to choose like around five percent a little bit bigger of course this would work fine this is a little bit too much so we're going to reduce the opacity to around 50 percent a little bit less 30 yeah and this looks fine right now we're going to make another layer and we're just going to select a rectangle tool and we're just going to add a very very nice rectangle of course everything is nice in my universe of the magical world of photoshop so we're just going to make sure it fits to the canvas because we will need that later and right now it's something very special we're just going to make it smaller and by pressing the alt button it will make every side smaller at the same time yeah so this is what we need right now we're going to turn that off because we don't need that at the moment and right now we're going to add a text let's just it doesn't really matter what text you use because yeah you won't be able to read it at all so it doesn't really matter that much but let's just make it bigger and let's right now choose a nice font doesn't really matter at all because you won't be able to read it but it does something mentally if you know what it says all right and let's duplicate this a couple of times and let's turn it and let's place it all over the artwork even one more time for the bottom all right and let's right now turn this into a smart object and right now we're going to do something really really magical so i found this image and i think this really really looks awesome and we're just going to adjust that by putting on a gradient map of just black and white and right now let's save that onto your pc i called it distort nice because it will give a very very nice effect and let's get right now back to our other file so right now we got this effect and it's not bad, but it's not really smashing the way we want it to be. So we're just going to select the text layer that we made last. And we're going to distort this place. And let's choose some ridiculous settings of like 240 pixels. Let's right now select the file that we made just some moments ago. The distort nice. And you see it gives this awesome rawish effect. So right now we're going to select the rectangle that we draw a couple of minutes ago. And we're going to... No. So I don't like that there's nothing right here. So I'm just going to select it and put a little bit to the side. I hope it will fix that. Yeah, it kind of does, kind of does. All right, so right now we're going to select the rectangle that we drew er earlier. We're going to select the outlines of it that you do that with holding the control or command button and clicking on this icon. And let's right now turn it around. 
with command or control shift i and let's right now make this into a layer mask so this way it gives a very very nice yeah a rounding we're going to make that blue or black or white i don't know yet let's just make a new solid color let's make let's try it in white yeah i think that would look the most the best yeah i think that would work, work best so let's do the same and let's right now fill that in with black so i don't like the colors right now so we're just going to change that with adding a new solid color and let's try something really black what? listen i'm gonna be honest with you I i'm kind of retarded and let's right now clip it to the layer below with holding the alt button so you get this effect and let's right now adjust the color fill of this layer as well so you get this effect right now we're going to adjust the gradient map because it because i think it doesn't really smash we're just going to make it deep black yeah i think this looks a lot better already maybe a little bit grayish and i think this looks awesome so right now we really want them to shine and the way to do that is just to add a very nice solid color and let's right now turn this around because it's just really bright i think this will hurt your eyes if i don't turn this off let's right now reduce the opacity to around 10 percent i think it's still too much so let's reduce this to reduce this to around five percent and you can see or you will see this really gives a very nice shiny effect of our main subject with is which is lokako of course so right now i think that we need a little bit of shadow uh, underneath him because right now we only did his foot and of course a shadow is all over the place so i think we have to make another one right here let's make it right now a lot bigger so i think this already looks pretty awesome but let's right now add some textures so first of all i found this light leak and i think that would just work awesome on this visual so let's turn the blend mode right now to screen or maybe color dodge color dodge add let's just see what works best i think color dodge looks awesome but screen i also like screen a lot um yeah let's just go for color dodge so right now let's add a little bit of texture to the whole of the background and i found this awesome image you won't you don't really see it right now but let's just change the blend mode to screen and it adds this grainy and texturized look to the whole to everything I think we will just duplicate the light leaks and let's right now choose screen and simply just reduce the opacity to around 40 and let's just make it a lot bigger so you get this really nice effect. Now like this, I already like this a lot. So right now I found another texture, this is something like a sandish, sandish wall texture that I really really like. So let's turn this around to 90 degrees and let's make it bigger and let's right now put the blend mode to multiply and you see that you get like these black dots in the background. I really really like it. I'm going to put this behind of the subject. Yeah, this works. This works really really nice. Right now I also want a very nice edge all around the place. Uh, first of all let's make the edge white because i think that works best and let's right now put it to the side and let's right now make it a little bit bigger so you only get this edgy effect let's put this to 40 and this to 48 and let's see what that does it kind of does what i want but i want it to be a little bit a little bit bigger and let's right now put the blend mode to multiply and you get this edgy effect so right now i found a last texture and this is also like first one a little bit of a yeah a little bit of sparkly texture let's right now change the blend mode to screen and we get this effect so let's right now group all of our layers and let's turn it into a smart object and let's right now add a very nice camera raw filter if you guys don't know how to use this because i noticed there are a lot of new of you that don't know the camera raw filter you just go around every slide to make sure what looks the best and if i can give you a very nice tip always boost the clarity and boost the texture because that will work your artwork because that will work on every artwork and let's right now juice all the rest of the sliders 
I'm going to do a live stream by the way this this week and if you guys want to see how I use the camera rattle in depth be sure to leave a comment down below because then I will make sure to bring attention to that in the live stream. And this is it guys, I hope you guys really like this artwork. If you guys want to make sure to be notified of future videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. And I'm going to host a live stream this week, so be sure to stay tuned for that. It will be around Wednesday or Thursday, I don't know yet, but it will come this week, I promise to you. I hope you guys really like this artwork, just I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope you guys learned something new from it as well. And I will see you guys later.